Chicago is one of the most popular destinations in the United States, and with good reasons. But it's also steep with ugly connotations. So I'll show you the real truth about living in Chicago. This is Gabby with Next Gen Real Estate and Property Management, serving Chicagoland in their real estate needs. And if you want to stay connected, subscribe to get updated on our latest content. As always, you can find a link below to schedule a free consultation with me. So what is it like living here in Chicago? You know that it's easy to fall in love with the Windy City with its towering buildings and diverse cultural environment. But the truth about Chicago is it is multifaceted. It has its fair share of advantages and disadvantages. Let's dig deeper into the great and the ugly truth about Chicago. Let's look at the pros. Number one, infinite recreational possibilities. First, Chicago isn't Chicago without its fun. You'll lose count in all places you and your family can visit and get entertained. Each community area has parks, galleries, bars, shops, and historical attractions. And the Chicagoans also love to party and celebrate. Festivals go year long, so when I say infinite recreations, I mean it. Number two, food paradise. When you want to take some time off to refresh and dig in with delicious foods, Chicago also has that to offer. The food variety is endless. There are deep dish pizza, Polish sausage dishes, Italian meat, euros, butter crust pizza, Chicago style popcorn, and amazing Italian eateries. If you are looking for fine dining, Chicago also has several Michelin starred restaurants for you to enjoy. Number three, diverse neighborhoods. Chicago is a large city renowned for its diversity. It's a melting pot of cultures of people all around the world. Number four, sport culture. Considered as one of the home's first sports, Chicago has so many sport complexes. The Sporting News has rated Chicago the best sports city in the United States three times in total. The Chicago Bears are the NFL franchise and their 1985 Super Bowl victory is still talked about in the city's taverns. You can also watch MLS soccer by heading to Bridgeview to watch the Chicago Fire or the Red Stars play women's soccer. You also cannot miss Cubs at Wrigley Field and Bulls and Blackhawks at United Center. Next is the strong job market. Finance, publishing, manufacturing, and food processing are just a few of industries where you might find work in Chicago. Here you will find many Fortune 500 companies and innovative startups and booming businesses to work and grow your income on with paste of Chicago's living standards. If you are interested in career growth, check our video on best employers to work for in Chicago. Next, the top-notch healthcare system. According to HealthGrade's 2019 National Health Index, Chicago is the 54th best city in the United States for health Healthcare. Moreover, the U.S. News and World Report ranked two Chicago hospitals among the top 20 in the country. According to U.S. News and World Report, Northwestern Memorial Hospital and Rush University Medical Center were ranked 10th and 17th on the list respectively. These hospitals are considered with their performances in providing good healthcare services to Chicagoans and residents of nearby communities. Last but not least of all advantages of Chicago is its very accessible city grid. It's easy to get lost in Chicago, especially if you're in a new neighborhood, but you'll be able to find your way back home with relative ease if you know how the city ranks its streets. In the city, there are eight city blocks per mile each with 100 address numbers. This translates to almost 800 numbers per mile. Madison Street is the north-south street grid center, whereas State Street is the east-west street grid's core. You can always know how far you are from the center of the town by keeping track of the numbers in the street position. Now, here we go with the uglies. Number one, high crime rates. The first con of Chicago living is the high risk from crimes. Yeah, even non-Chicagoans know this from all the news coverage and movies. The total crime rate in Chicago is greater than the national average, according to the Chicago Police Department's Bureau of Records. In recent years, the city's high murder rates have dominated the news cycle. 
The crime report reports that according to the Chicago Police Department, other law enforcement agencies, and the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office, Chicago reached 800 homicides in 2021, one of the deadliest years in at least the last quarter century. Cook County Medical Examiner's Office handled more than 1,000 homicides last year, including 836 in the city of Chicago. It was the first time the office had handled that many homicides since 1994. 2. Harsh Climate the next thing for people to be aware of when living in Chicago is its harsh climate. The Windy City is named for its challenging location. With close proximity to the lake and rivers, this is the place where you can experience up to four seasons in one place. Winter is the longest of the four seasons, so don't be shocked if you feel frigid winds sweeping past your head. Summers can be worse than winters, with the temperatures reaching 100 degrees Fahrenheit with unbearable humidity humidity levels. Next is the cost of living. Another big burden when it comes to living in Chicago is the high cost of living here. Like almost everything is expensive. Chicagoan's lifestyle is more expensive than 84% of cities worldwide. The harsh, unpredictable weather of the Windy City causes high utility bills, particularly in terms of heating. Housing is expensive mostly because of high property taxes. Then, as a foodie's paradise, you also pay a lot for food. Chicago is one of the cities where grocery rates may be paid at a 2.25% rate. If you frequent restaurants, your bill will also include a 0.5% restaurant tax. When you consider the local and state taxes revenues, you'll be faced with a combined 10.25% sales tax. Aside from the sales taxes, you'll get hit with a barrage of other taxes, including but not limited to parking tax, cigarette tax, water or sewer tax, liquor tax, amusement tax, bottled water tax, and checkout bag tax. Transportation is also a heavy expense, both in terms of time and money. Whether you're commuting or driving your own vehicle, you will be hit with long hours of traffic and high car expenses. To know more about the cost of living in Chicago, check out our video on cost of living in Chicago metropolitan area right here. Then of course, I should warn you about the terrible traffic that Chicagoans suffer from. Only seven major motorways and four auxiliary highways Ways pass through the city. During rush hours, driving on Dan Ryan or the Kennedy can result in a significant amount of time spent stuck in traffic. When getting to a certain location in the city, allow an extra hour or two because navigating the side streets can take time when the roads are congested. Another important consideration about the ugly truth about Chicago is its urban sprawl. The city is too congested, with high-rise buildings and concrete construction galore. So most people actually move out of the city into the suburbs and small towns to get more space and fresh air. Many people in Chicago do not have access to green spaces. Only 10% of the city's population lives more than a half mile from a park, which is the recommended national distance for good park access. Residents who live in regions with limited or no access to green spaces are more likely to suffer from health problems, encounter violence, and be unable to form meaningful community relationships with their neighbors. And lastly, the pollution. And of course, related to the lack of green spaces is the long-standing issue of air pollution in Chicago. According to the American Lung Association's 2019 State of the Air report, Chicago is the 18th most polluted city in the country for ozone pollution. The 20th annual report stated that between 2015 and 2017, Chicago had a weighted average of 14 harmful ozone days. So now the question remains, is it still worth living in Chicago? Of course, it's such a vibrant, diverse city. It's one of the few cities in the world where you can truly say there's something for everyone. Those moving to Chicago should know its many backdrops. If you research well and plan for your life style, you'll be greeted by a city full of opportunities. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have learned a lot from this comprehensive video about truth about Chicago, Illinois. And as always, where's your future?